show you how can we use the built-in or the library that very well-known one um, from KRS to train the LSTM of course you already know the concept of the LSTM right and this time we will use the uh, LSTM to train the data and this is the data from the real world uh, this is the data from Thailand COVID-19 uh, this is the some like the count of all confirmed cases reported in Thailand in in a period uh, from uh, May mm, from April the first to uh, August twenty sixth. So uh, I prepared the data for you uh, here so you can use gdao to download the file at first you can download the file here and then uh once you download it uh i have to read it uh, from using the pandas and we will read it into a data frame and then uh just we just uh change the date but it's not needed to train in in our training algorithm but uh i just uh, want to show the graph. Uh, so this is the graph of the confirmed cases reported between April the 1st to August uh, 26th. Okay, so uh, you can see that we have the graph like this and um, this cell I convert uh, the, the data frame of the number of the confirmed cases uh, into an X. Uh, this one is the uh, X that is the we build the NumPy array, and then uh, I use the uh, min max. Um, this one I want to to remind you that uh, the best way to train it is you have to uh, scale it scale down. The lowest will be zero, and uh, the highest will be one. So we can use min max scaler that uh, range from zero to one. Uh, we keep it into the scalar and then uh, to trend we can uh, to transform it we can use fit transform and send this array into this normalized um, but the normalized uh, use the matrix so I convert this one into the matrix first because uh, X is just uh, an array only one dimension array uh, this this statement will convert x into the two dimensional arrays using only one rows and many columns so uh but i have to uh transpose it to make it uh better for the scalar so this one uh our x will be like this uh, can you see only uh one rows and many columns oh sorry um you can see that uh, for this one, we have only uh, like only one element. One, but uh, here there are many columns. So uh, this one is uh, x normalized. Uh, you can you can imagine that if we transpose this back, it will be one row, uh, one one row, and this one in this part there's one row and many uh, columns can you see but uh, it's like an array so we trans transpose it back so this one is the normalized one so you can see you can think that uh, this one can be uh, imaged like um, a table so this one is the x normalized so you can play with this data um, for LCM if we used like uh, this day to predict the next day so I use X as this one as an input and we will set the target to be this one the next day if we if we use this one as input we will use this one as the target okay so like try to predict the next day from from current day uh, so I use X train to be like just only um, all data but remove the last one 
but while train we start from the second one that index by one so it's like the our x train and y train will be like this uh, if we the input is zero the target will be next day okay if the input is this values the output will be next the confirmed case on the next day uh, to make it be able to trend in LSTM, we have to reshape it uh, into this one. Look at our X train here. Oh, sorry, this one is the X train from from uh, a moment. I will get it back to. Okay. This one is our X trend. So you can see that you can see that uh, we have um, 100 rows here, 100 rows here. So in each row, you have only one columns and in each columns, you have only one data. That is the data of the current day. I'll explain about the, how can we how can we arrange the data later. Uh, so this one is X trend in using one day to predict the next day. Uh, and this one is the way that you can use the neural network. Um, the idea is quite simple. Uh, you can use keras.model to be the sequential one and then uh, add the layers. Im you have to import the layers. The one that you need is LCM and uh, dense. Dense is fully connected layer. Okay, so we start with the input that I will use LSTM for 16 nodes of LSTM. Uh, the input shape is like just only uh, one by one. Um, that is only one, uh, only one element, but it contains only one day. Okay, so uh, we connect this LSTM to uh, the next layer is we put uh, four four nodes four nodes after this and the last one will be the output of our layer so it's like uh, there are 16 lcm node in the first layer in the second layer we have fully connected uh node with totally four nodes and the last one is uh, we connect these four nodes from from the previous from the second layer into the last layer this one will be the output and we have to construct this structure first using the loss function to be mean squared error and optimizers is Adams. Uh, this one is very well known one, so you can use this option. Uh, to train the data, we can train using uh, specified number of epochs. Uh, here we use uh, 100 epochs. It means that for all examples, we train it uh, one one round of all examples uh, that is one one epoch so this is 100 rounds of all examples uh, the batch size is like uh, we we will feed them like uh, five examples together and then train it find the error and train so uh, this one is the the model that we use X train and Y train and set the number of epochs, the batch size, and the validation set is like uh, use it split from the training to check the result. So this is the the model called call the history data. So uh, I'll train it. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's it does compile correctly. It come from the uh, the last one so I will run everything again so you can see actually I would like to like uh, to show you the result of uh, the execution but uh, may take a little bit long time so I don't want you to wait but it's uh, so you have to wait for a, a moment this one will be uh, finish and you can see that this is the loss values this is like uh, decreasing and this is validation the loss function of the l validation set 
So once you once you have the model, you can use the model to predict the X trend. And uh, I just show you the the X trend values from here. Oh, I think this doesn't is not necessary at this point. And then I plot the graph. So you can see that on on the blue one. Uh, this is actual values and the red one is the predicted values, uh, the predicted values. So it's like uh, on this day, after you know that the, the, the data on this day, on day number 59, uh, there are 3,509, 3, um, but you can see that it's like a lack of one day. So it means that it's try to use these values to predict uh, like uh, the values will be will be actually it should be 3509 but this one this one is 2669 so uh, but on the next day you can see it is uh, 3539 so it's like uh, the values come from like lack of one day um so so maybe it's not because we use current day to predict the next day right uh so i change it to be five day to predict predict the next day uh i convert this one into uh, i change it to here uh using the index matrix uh the index index matrix will be like this look at this uh, the index matrix in this case is like uh, we start from index number zero to four and then one to five. So so I use the index uh, like this and get the X train using this index matrix and you will get X train like this. Uh, I have to I have to reshape it. I have to reshape it to make it be able to train using uh, LSTM also. So uh, you can see that our X trend is different from the previous one, right? From the previous one inside this, there is just only one day. But this time we have five days and we use the next day to be our target. So this one is the X trend and this one is the Y trend that uh, you can create it from, from the X trend one choose just only the first columns and select uh, from the second elements to be the Y, to be the target one. And for the X trend here, I, I skip the last one because the last one we cannot have the target values. So I skip the last one using uh, all rows except the, the last one. Okay, so once you have X trend and Y trend, now you can uh, use the same structure. The first, the input come from LSTM 16 nodes, connect to four hidden fully connected and one output nodes. Using optimizer Adams and the loss function is mean square error. Same. Okay, so this one is the, the I, I just show you the X train already, so I will remove this one. And this one is the training process. So after you finish training, uh, I get the result from the predict uh, X trend. And let's see the result here. So you can see that uh, our predict value is closer to, to the one that we want, right? Not have any lag. Because we have five days to predict the next day. So it's like a good, uh, good method to predict the data on the next day. So I hope that you get the idea of how can we use the RLSTM to like in the real world. This one is just only one data, one uh one dimension, one dimension data. Uh, if you if you wanna if you wanna use like uh more than one dimension, like if you have uh temperature, uh humidity, and you wanna predict the uh rainfall, uh the the amount of the rain. In the next hour or something like that uh, you can add this one not only not only 
not only this vector you have to add it like uh, more than one vector in this training data so I hope that you get the idea of how can we train it okay so uh, this one is the LSTM using like apply LSTM to predict like using the regression